Happy day, I'm quick. <laughs> You're stuck in an elevator with a cute girl. What are you gonna do? Windows protected your PC. Oh dear, no. We're gonna have to run it anyway. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Hi. Nice to meet you, stranger. Huh. Nice to meet you too. Why are you doing the dance that I do when I need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> it's a little weird. Let me welcome you to the elevator. Well, thank you. I, shouldn't you have welcomed me into the elevator as I was walking in? Like, we're already in here. I'm the elevator girl. I'll be your assistant for today. I don't think I need an assistant. All I have to do is press a button. And also, you don't have a name? It's just elevator girl? Before anything else, I'll advise you to keep your hands away from the walls and to not move around too much. Okay, I'll keep my filthy hands to myself. Um... What's wrong with the walls? The people who built this elevator are rich enough to afford an elevator girl, but not rich enough to make the walls not dangerous. The company won't pay for any injuries that might occur on the way down, so please be careful. I think she's secretly evil. Look at that face. It looks like she's got two mouths for a face, like, okay, mustache, teeth. In the past, we've had issues with lost limbs stuck in the mechanism. Oh. Alrighty then. Not a pretty sight as you'd imagine. Also very expensive to clean up. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Fair enough. But don't worry. If you stand perfectly still, the chances of something going wrong are less than 50%. Less than 50%. That's still pretty high, girl. I am doing the pencil. I am doing the tree. I am doing everything I need to do to stay safe in this life. Now, please don't be impatient, dear stranger. This is a very long trip down. Are we in the tallest building in the world? Are we in the CN Tower? Where are we? Why is it taking this so long? Are we in Azzy's house? Why is it taking 20 minutes to get down the elevator? Hey, let's take this chance to get to know each other. I mean, my life may be in danger, but I'm still a dog. I'll let you know once we are near our first stop. Okay, uh, thank you. Let's get to know each other then. Hi, babe. There's still a long way to go. So for now, please relax and enjoy my company. Thank you, I have been. All right, this is the elevator. This is it. This is it. She's just standing there looking at me funny. Wait, I don't even know where we're going. Where are we going? Please don't be impatient. There's still a long way to go. Are we going to heck? To burn in eternal damnation? Please, I don't want to wait. Uh, are we there yet? No. We're not there yet. What are you, a child? I don't know how long I can stand still. Am I supposed to hold my breath too? <gasps> um, ma'am? Okay, I guess we'll just stare at each other then. Staring contest, go. I blinked. Can I press the buttons? Whoa, we've arrived to our first stop. We have, finally. What's there? Sup, bro? Uh, hi. Um, no getting ahead. Take your ticket and wait. No, I don't want to go on this floor. This looks like Life Labs. This looks like the place where you wait in line and take a number and get your blood taken. We call this floor the waiting room. Yeah, I can tell and it's making me nervous. People that don't have the patience to endure the trip down are left here. No, 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 I promise I'll wait. I promise I'll wait. They spend a long time here waiting for something or perhaps waiting for nothing at all. All that's clear is that they wait. They wait a lot. A lot they wait. Yo, bro, I've been here a long time waiting for, uh, wait. Wait, what was I waiting for? Ah, I don't want to be that guy. Anyway, bro, did the rubber boy ever find the single piece? I think you're losing your mind, bud. I was a big fan of that show, but sadly never got to see how it ended. I couldn't see the end of my favorite show because I've been down here this whole time. Of course, people that leave here can't get into the elevator again. That's a no-go. Well, I'm not going there. Elevator? What's that? Anyway, I'm back to waiting. Have a nice day, you both. Well, that sounds like a fate that I'd, I just, that is terrifying. Throw me through a chute. Throw me into a black hole. Don't send me there. Well, I don't think this is your stop, so let's keep going deeper and deeper, shall we? Um, okay. Our next stop is still a few minutes away. Do you want to chat for a bit? I was reading a story earlier. You probably heard about it. It's a fairly popular one. The tale of the tortoise and the hare. Well, in case you don't remember it, it goes something like this. There was once a tortoise and a hare that decided to have a race between them. Okay, let me let me summarize this for you. All right? You know the tortoise and the hare. The hare gets cocky, decides to take a nap. Tortoise catches up, tortoise wins, hare gets embarrassed. Quite the story, don't you think? It's easy to draw parallels to real life. There are many hares and tortoises out there. Yeah, there are. Is this some sort of symbolism? Am I supposed to not rush? Am I gonna get the best ending if I don't rush? I definitely want the best ending. Now tell me, stranger, would you consider yourself a hare or a tortoise? Definitely a hare, but I'm willing to be a tortoise for you, girl. Oh no, I feel like this is a question that matters. What if I say I'm the tortoise and it takes forever? What if I say the hare, I'm not gonna get a good ending. I'm the tortoise. The tortoise, huh? I don't think she believes me. The story was constructed in such a way to make the tortoise appear to be the hero, but I disagree with that notion. The tortoise is just as bad as the hare. Oh no, dang it, I was just trying to say what you wanted to hear. If you're hardworking, 
talking. You'll put in the effort to always be on top. You wouldn't let yourself go so much that you become the laughing stock of everyone else. Isn't that what the hare did? Furthermore, the tortoise's victory was a fluke that relied on the hare's incompetence, not for the tortoise's effort. We should all just stab Caesar! Uh, okay, okay. Gretchen Wieners, that's great. They are both incredibly lazy. Are you kidding me? No, that tortoise gave it his all. Well, hair tortoise, it doesn't matter. I'm sure the next four will be of interest to you. Girl, you are scaring me! Oh, here we are. Let me welcome you to the factory. I don't know if I like the factory. It's like a, a mechanical arm and, a, and an assembly belt. The factory is the pride and joy of our company. We make everything here from jewelry to insulin to firearms. It's all here. All our systems are automated too. The robots handle all the work. So being one of our employees is extremely easy. You mean lazy? Like the tortoise? I asked you about the hare and the tortoise earlier because you seemed lazy to me and I think I was right. So I wanted to make you an offer. We are currently hiring and we need someone just like you. Someone to do absolutely nothing. Also the pay is pretty good to boot. Would you be interested? I don't want to be stuck here forever. I don't want to be stuck like the waiting guy. I'll pass, thank you. I don't want to go in there. So you don't want to work for us. That's such a shame. Well, maybe, maybe I should have worked for us. I'm scared of my future. Well, maybe factory work isn't for you. It's all right, it's all right. We have other positions too. What if I don't want to work for this company? Maybe our next stop will be more to your liking. Yeah, maybe, I hope. Oh yes, in the meantime, would you like to play a game? What kind of a game? Whoa, here's our new slot machine prototype. What makes it different from other slot machines, are you wondering? Well, it's free to play, so it's free to give it as many attempts as you want. The win condition is to get three of the same number in a row, just like most slot machines. I'll let you do your thing, please enjoy. I guess I'll play. Six. Oh no, it was almost a good six, six, six. I lose. Uh-oh, I'm a little nervous. Four, four, one. Oh, okay, this is addictive. This is addictive. Please give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, no. I mean, what are the chances, right? Like this is gonna take forever. I'm just slotting and slotting away. Five, four, four, no! <laughs> Five, two, two, oh no. Oh, how long am I gonna be doing this for? I feel like I could do this forever. I feel like this girl is sinking her little claws into my head and killing me. I feel like I've already had a 655. What are the chances of that? Oh, I forgot to mention, another feature of this new prototype is not only is it free to play, you can also never win. You idiot. Ah, I won! <laughs> what do you mean? Ah! Okay, I'm done playing, I guess. I hate this. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, you've had enough of our slot machine already? That's a shame, but oh well. We'll arrive to our next stop in a moment. Please, I'm scared. I'm scared. Negative 23, what kind of a floor is that? And here we are. Let me welcome you to the office. Um, doesn't this girl get worried that her back is straight to an elevator door? This is where our most brilliant and ambitious employees work. As opposed to the factory, this place isn't automated, but you get paid accordingly to the amount of effort you put in. The employees of the office are an integral part of the development of the company, creating new products that later get made in the factory or new ideas to improve productivity. Salaries here start at 100,000 US dollars per hour. Well, that's a pretty good deal. Huh? A newbie? You should definitely join us. In fact, you should work under me. You don't even know anything about me. You're cute though. Uh, yes. If you enter as an apprentice of someone, your senior will get a portion of your income in exchange for mentorship. Oh, that's why she wants it. Cause she gets commission. I work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I also have over 250 apprentices. I'm one of the richest people in the world right now. <laughs> well then what, why are you, what, 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 why? Just give it a rest. You look like you've been here for years. Girl, when's the last time you had a haircut? Money isn't everything. You haven't upgraded your computer in decades. But that's not enough. I need more. Become my apprentice. With your help, I'll be able to get to the absolute top. If you're one of the richest people in the world, what are you doing in such a small cubicle? You shouldn't be on negative 23 floors. You should be in a penthouse. I'll become the CEO of this company. Then I'll fund new companies and become even richer. Oh my goodness, this whole thing is like making me nervous. So I went from being offered a job where I don't have to do anything to working for one of the most driven people in the world who doesn't seem to be have anything to show for all the work they've done. So join me. You won't regret it. <laughs> I don't know if I trust anything that you say. Please don't be so pushy with the stranger. Shut up, elevator girl. You'll see. In no time you'll work for me too. I'll own you and your stupid elevator. Just you wait and see. We'll see about that. Uh-oh, I feel like Elevator Girl is like a little omniscient in a way. Like I feel like she knows what's up and this girl doesn't know she's a hamster in a hamster ball. 
Oh, thank you for not even making me make a decision. Well, I don't think the stranger would be a good fit for this floor anyway. Let's keep going deeper. That girl scared me. At least I didn't take the job at the factory. And on we go. We should chat for a bit while we get to the next destination. What do you think of this descent thus far? I hope you're having a good time. After the last stop, you'll surely wish to go back into the elevator. <laughs> that's for sure. What? After the last stop, you'll surely wish to go back into the elevator, that's for sure. What do you mean? That's a, that's a very ominous statement, elevator girl. <laughs> Never mind that. Ah, you can't just say that! But it's all good. The company really appreciates people like you. What company? What are we doing here? Who am I? Even more so, you're exactly what we were looking for. I've been working here for over 50 years, so I know what I'm talking about. Well, girl, you look great for having been here 50 years. Like, you... I, I don't know. I don't know. If this company is so great and it has people that work 24 seven, why are the elevator walls so dangerous I can't touch them? That's elevator girl for you. I'm too great at my job. You look like you haven't slept in years, elevator girl. I think some balance is in order. Oh, we finally arrived to our next stop. The floor is, um, actually let's skip this floor, shall we? No, 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 I wanna see what's in this. I need to see what's in this floor. Don't. Oh no. I really wanted to see what was in that floor, me and my dirty mind. Oh, sorry. Is my scene bothering you? Yes, it is. This is a long trip down, so sometimes I get distracted. I'm sorry. Well, now that I think about it, you must be hungry right now, right? We happen to have a full course meal service at this elevator, so feel free to eat whatever you want. Hold up a second, I'll bring you the menu. What, I get to eat? <gasps> Yummy! Please choose what dish you'd like to eat. Okay, so what we have here, I mean, this looks like a tofu soup, like either a miso soup or like an agadashi tofu in like a lot of broth. And this looks like a, mm, like a beef stew, like a beef bourguignon. Oh my goodness. I mean, okay, so miso soup, delicious, not big enough, not hearty enough. I'm going for the stew, 100% going for the stew. I see, good choice. Now for the main course. Oh, that was just an appy? I would have chosen the miso soup if I knew that was an appetizer. Ooh, pork chop or salad? I guess I'll have salad because I just ate a whole beef stew. Another good choice. Finally, please choose your dessert. Oh. Oh, okay, so we have like very like diet-y options and very indulgent options. Now I've chosen one indulgent, one salad, and then do I go with healthy or indulgent? That banana split do be looking really good right now, but you get more fruit. Like I feel like I'd be eating this fruit longer than I'd be eating this banana split. I don't know, I'm gonna eat the fruit. I feel like she's judging me, so I'm gonna eat the fruit. All right, now please enjoy your meal. I really wanted that banana split though. I hope that was tasty. It was all right. I wish I had the banana split. I can't help but notice you selected some dishes that contained animal products. Oh no, I knew it. I hope you're aware that those animals had to die to satiate your hunger. If you were the type of person that enjoys inflicting pain upon creatures you deem inferior to you, that'd be very unfortunate. But I'm sure you're very aware of the death all around you, right? Uh, um, um, you only eat other creatures to survive, not for pleasure, am I right? I mean, uh, no, I could have definitely just not had that beef stew. Well, enough about food. Let's chat a bit more. There's still a long way down. A question. Do you have pets? I do have pets. Oh, I see. So you think enslaving animals is okay. Noted. Hmm. Next question. Oh, she seems mad at me. Imagine you were on a deserted island with a starving old man and a cute puppy. You just had a full course meal and have one apple left. Would you give the apple to the old man or the cute pup? <gasps> I don't know. I just had a full course meal, so obviously I wouldn't eat the apple. It depends how old the man is, because if the man's on his way out, I'd rather nourish the puppy who's gonna keep me alive for longer and the puppy still has a whole life to live. But if somebody gave a puppy an apple instead of me just because I'm older than them, I'd be so upset. But the poor puppy, I give the apple to the old man. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. The poor puppy. There's no good option. Hey Terry, if you were on a deserted island, would you give a, an apple to an old man or a puppy? The last apple. I'd give the apple to the puppy. Why? Because it's younger. Uh, that's a little ageist, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I want to give it to the dog too, because I don't want to be stuck on an island by myself. But what if the old man has another 10 years in him? What if the puppy only lives for nine years? Okay, I'm gonna take it to the old man. I see. Next scenario. You were stranded on a mountain in winter with your kitten. At this rate, you'll be the first one to die. If the kitten eats your remains, it might survive. Do you accept death in this case or would you kill your cute kitten for food? I don't think I could eat a family member. I'd accept death. I see. Final question. Would you give up on your tongue in exchange for leaving this elevator? Why does she look so happy? That is so creepy. I can't stand this. I mean, I I would if I, what, what are the stakes? If I was stuck in here forever, yes, I would give away my tongue to get out of here, but I'd rather not. I have to say yes. Understandable. 
Uh, negative 250. Oh, we've arrived. This floor. Let me welcome you to the kitchen. Um, doesn't look like a kitchen to me. Here, our employees work hard to provide food for everyone in the company. Are these your employees or is this the food? Mmm, that visitor looks very tasty. Oh. I'm in pain. Why don't you join the kitchen? We have nice food here. I'm in pain. Yeah, this kitchen is very nice and look, I won't sugarcoat it. The food comes from them, all right? I'm in pain. Come on, just a bite, it won't hurt. Uh, no, I'm not, no, no thank you, no thank you. Hmm, no, you aren't deserving of the kitchen. Do you like me? Are you gonna give me a better fate? That was just horrendous. I get that I deserve it. It's because I ate the beef stew, isn't it? People like you deserve to go even deeper. Oh no, what do you mean? Shall we continue, stranger? Um, uh... Oh, I must have lived a really, really bad life to deserve this. Like, I, I feel like all my friends and family got off at like floor five and here I am at negative 250 and get going deeper. I know you have many questions right now, but I'm legally allowed to not answer any of them. Just trust me for now. I'll find the best floor for you. Oh no, am I finding my heaven? Am I finding my good place? I need to know. As I've said before, our company really likes having people like you on board. I wouldn't let you go to waste. Oh dear jeez. Can I cut off my tongue and leave please? I'm so scared. 445? Ah, it's never pleasant to come to this one. Here's a floor, I guess. Ah! Let me welcome you to the prison. Oh, um, oh. Here we bring people that have issues with interpersonal relationships. The people here fail at basic human interactions, so please be careful. Oh, so it's a bunch of awkward people in here? Oh no. Oh no! Nishi nishi! Oh, I, I don't know about that. Don't believe any of her lies, stranger. I know the truth about this place. She won't let you out. She'll keep torturing you until she becomes bored of it. Nishi nishi! This floor is not a prison. This is where she puts her broken toys. If you leave now, you'll avoid becoming a freak like us. Oh, well, this is nice. This is the first guy that's told me to leave. And he's in the place called the prison. You'll have much more luck finding a way out as a normal human. So, let's trade places. What do you mean, let's trade places? Well, everything he said is a lie except for that last part. He wants to trade places with you. It is possible to trade your place in the elevator with one of our employees. The people in the other floors would never give up their jobs, but the troublemakers here are different. <gasps> oh my goodness, no, I should have taken that job in the factory where I have to do nothing, because like this? Trading places with this guy? Hanging out with these things? I don't know about that. Nishi nishi! Oh no, I don't want to nishi nishi you. Lies, lies, all lies. You have to trust me, stranger. I don't want what happened to me to happen to you. If I'm in the elevator, I can get revenge on her. And you, you can get away from her. It's win-win. Uh, if we're done here, I think it's time to leave this place for now. Nishi nishi. Just trade places with me. Oh, 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 oh. I can either stay in the elevator or trade places. I, oh, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't trust either of these at all. I've never trusted anything less, okay? So he's saying... He's a freak because he was in there and he wants me to go in there and become a freak so that he can get revenge. But even then, if I become a freak like this, nobody's gonna accept me back in the world. Oh my goodness, no. What do I do? I, 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 I think I wanna stay in the elevator actually. I, I don't like that background. <gasps> but should I do the right thing and sacrifice myself for this guy? Everybody else I've met so far seems happy to be here and doesn't want to leave, except for this guy. This is the only person who has fought to get on the elevator. She's referring to him as a troublemaker. This is difference. Oh geez, oh geez, I'm gonna trade places with him. I'm just gonna try it. I see, if that's what you want. Now, please trade places with our employee. You left the elevator and traded places with the man. As soon as you entered the prison, deformed individuals started approaching you. Oh, look at these pretty eyes you got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to them. And everything went dark after hearing those words. Look at those hands. So pristine. Why can't I have hands like you? After hearing that, you stopped feeling your hands. Were they even attached to your body anymore? You couldn't tell. What a nice nose you have. I bet you have a great sense of smell. Those are some nice feet. You must be pretty fast. Ha 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 Look at the newcomer. They must not be very bright at all. I wish I was a newcomer too. The voices kept going for a while until they finally stopped. You found yourself laying on the floor, or at least that's what you think. You had no way to tell anymore. Unable to see, unable to stand, unable to hear or smell, unable to grab anything or feel, unable to recall your old memories or what you used to be. You just laid there thinking about things you could have. Maybe someday you'll be able to trade places with someone else. Oh my goodness, that is N6. We have to go find some other ones. That was so cool. We are back to where we were before. Exact same decision making. 
We are staying in this elevator. Nishi nishi. No, I know what you were going to do to me. You fool. Have you not seen what she really is? I mean, I've seen what you really are and I don't like it. So I'm going to keep going. I don't care how much deeper. Oh, she turned into a demon. What? Okay, I've seen what she really is and I'm not liking it very much. I'll assume you've already figured it out. That's right. You're already dead. Right now, we are going deeper and deeper into the layers of hell. I'm trying to find which one is the most appropriate for you. Our next stop is very special. Maybe you'll find it even a bit familiar. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Here we are. This is our last stop. Let me welcome you to hell. Hello. Otherwise known as heck. Otherwise known as H-E double hockey stick. That's right. Every floor we visited thus far is also part of hell. hell. This one, however, is very special. You could call it the Christian hell, hell or the movie the hell. hell. Basically what you'd imagine when thinking of this place. Lava, sulfur, agony, all the good stuff. This floor is sort of a VIP lounge. All of our most distinguished guests stay here. Adolf, Wald, Kims. Do you think you have the pedigree to join such a select group of evil? Well, I'll be the judge of that. Well, I think, uh, no. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you, wait, but wait. Oh no, I, I'm worse? What do you mean I'm worse than people who get that? Uh, you don't deserve to be here. You're actually worse than everyone on this floor. You make me sick. What did I do? Oh no, I really need to think about the decisions that I've made. We're going at full speed to the very bottom. That's the only place where you deserve to be. Deeper and deeper and deeper we go. To the very bottom, to the last layer of damnation we go. Here we are. Floor zero? We've gone so deep that we've somehow returned to the starting point. Don't ask me how that works. I don't know either. <laughs> now, this is the last layer. Earth? Let me welcome you to Earth. That's right. This is the door that leads to the worst possible outcome of them all. You'll be reborn and have to go through an entire lifetime in that horrible world of yours. Oh my Satan, I'm surely glad to not be in your shoes right now. Now, please. Get the heck out of my elevator and go be a stinky baby. See you in 80 years or so. Bye bye. Well, this is definitely the outcome that I want. Thank you very much because you know what? Earth sucks, but I like it a lot. The sky is blue, the grass is green. I only burn my feet walking on the ground if I step in sand on a really hot day. Okay, we need to see some other endings though. We need to see some other endings though. We're gonna say yes to every job just to see. Well, gonna go wait with this guy. He was the friendliest guy ever. Sup bro, no getting ahead. Take your ticket and wait. Yeah, you know what? I'll wait with you. Oh, I don't get the option to wait with him. Okay, I'm gonna go to a place where I have the option to stay. Okay, so right now she's telling me the tortoise and the hare story. I'm gonna be the hare this time. The hare huh? So you're an underachiever then. Despite your talents, you never accomplish anything. Such a poor soul. Well, hare or tortoise, it doesn't matter. I'm sure our next floor will be of interest to you. Oh, here we are. The factory. Uh, you know, if I'm the hare, I might fit in at the factory. Okay, so she's currently saying that I can be the laziest worker. Uh, hire me. I'm glad to hear that. Now please, leave the elevator and go to your new job. You left the elevator and entered the factory. As promised, your job was just as advertised to do absolutely nothing while the robots handled all the production. The pay for doing nothing was extremely good, but you had nothing to do with all that money as all of your living expenses were paid for and you were unable to leave the factory and thus days, months, and years passed. Days blurred together more and more as time flew by and you never had anything to worry about, nothing to gain, nothing to do. Eventually your brain had become mush. Unable to think you became no different from the mindless robotic arms that worked all day long. And so so you started imitating them, having no thought. Your body started working in unison with the machines on its own. With the precision of an automaton, you continued to build things night and day. If your brain was still functioning, you'd surely be proud of your newfound technique. But of course, this was not the case. And thus you continued to work and work like a robot. Perhaps at some point, you had also become one of those robotic arms. And two, go again. We've arrived to our first stop. Oh. Now please, will you get off my elevator? <gasps> Okay, so usually she closes. Okay, I have some explaining to do right now. This is the first stop and she is asking me to get off the elevator. And it's because at the beginning of the game, like you have two different uh, options. You can like say dot, 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 or are we there yet? I just kept hitting, are we there yet? And she's so mad at me right now. She wants me to get off. She forced me off the elevator. I didn't even get to choose. You left the elevator and entered the waiting room. The old man and the other people made the waiting room bearable for you. You talked to them all the time while you waited and waited. In due time, you called them friends, but eventually you ran out of topics to discuss with them. So you silently waited and waited. Sometimes you'd hear the elevator pass by, occasionally even stop with visitors. In rare occasions, someone would leave the elevator and join the waiting room, but eventually you also lost interest on the new arrivals. At some point you forgot that you ever rode that elevator. At some point you forgot what you were waiting for. Did you ever know what it was to begin with? It didn't matter anymore, you just kept waiting. 
and waiting and waiting some more. Ending one, let's get it. That is so funny that I just accidentally got an ending by being annoying. Okay, so now she's presenting me with a slot machine and I'm just gonna keep playing the slots until something happens, hopefully. I really hope something comes of this because I've been here for a while. There's no way it takes so long I'm leaving. She's saying you've had enough of our slot machine already. Of course I have. I've been doing this forever. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take this job at the office. You left the elevator and entered the office. Under the guidance of your senior, you got really good at your new job in no time. Your pay kept increasing until it reached the millions. Your ambition would not be satiated by just that though. Eventually you set your aims higher and higher. I definitely got forced to get this ending because I would not stop playing with the slot machines. Like your seniors before you, you also aimed to become the owner of the company. You started taking apprentices to maximize your pay. Oh no, I'm one of those boss babes. Oh no. In your old life, you could have easily taken over the world with the wealth and power you have now, but here it was different. Acquiring the company or even access to other floors was still beyond your reach. You kept working and working, scheming and scheming to become richer and richer. At some point you learned the price of the company. It was simply put infinite, but you didn't let that information discourage you. You just kept on accumulating wealth in order to buy it. Surely someday you'll have enough to buy it. If infinity is what you need, then you just have to become infinitely rich, right? So you kept on working in the office for ever, infinitely. That's the most uncomfortable ending ever. Let's go again. This time I'm gonna go for no animal products when she offers me food. Maybe the animals when that door opens will be nice to me if I don't eat animals. We're gonna eat the tofu soup. I see, good choice. Now for the main course, we're gonna eat the salad. Another good choice. Finally, please choose your dessert. The fruits. All right, now please enjoy your meal. Okay, I feel like she's never been that happy for me to make these choices. I hope that was tasty. I can't help but notice you didn't touch any of the dishes with animal products in them. I hope you didn't live under the illusion that you're guilt-free for only eating plants. Okay, plants are also living beings just like you and me. They might be incapable of complex thought, yeah, but they can still feel and fear as they are murdered for our consumption in their own way, of course. But who says we have the moral high ground to say who gets eaten only because of our higher intellect? Well, I hope you at least understand the entitlement of yours when eating other living beings. It's an eat or be eaten kind of world, I suppose. Girl, make up your mind then. Well, enough about food. Let's chat a little bit more. There's still a long way down. A question, do you have pets? Now, last time I said I do have pets, she said that I enslave animals, so I'm gonna say this time, I don't. I see. So you really hate animals, noted. Dang it! Hmm, next question. Imagine you were on a deserted island with a starving old man and a cute puppy. You just had a full course meal and have one apple left. Would you give the apple to the old man or the cute puppy? I mean, surely eating the apple is the wrong thing to do, because I just ate a full course meal. Maybe, because I gave it to the old man last time, I give it to the puppy this time. I see. Next scenario, you were stranded on a mountain in the winter with a kitten. At this rate, you'll be the first to die. If your kitten eats your remains, it might survive. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice the kitten. Or I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Final question. Would you give up your tongue in exchange for leaving this elevator? I said yes last time, I'm gonna say no this time. Understandable. That is pretty passive. Oh, we've arrived. This floor. Here they are. Let me welcome you to the kitchen. Wait, no, what, what, why? You aren't deserving of the kitchen? No, I need to be deserving of the kitchen. What do I do? Do I eat the apple then? I'm gonna try to get into a uh, vanilla movie heck. No! Okay, I gotta redo. Okay, so I, I've given the apple to the old man and the dog. This time I'm gonna eat the apple. Please let me off. Let me off in the kitchen. I wanna know what's up. No! Okay, so somehow I got this. I chose to eat my cat and now she's letting me into the kitchen. I would not sacrifice my tongue to stay here. I would eat my cat. I'd eat the apple instead of give it to the animals. Maybe you do have to be a really bad person to get in here. Like the pacifist route did not work. You had to choose everything that's really selfish. You left the elevator and entered the kitchen. As soon as you entered, many inhuman creatures swiftly approached you with piercing stares. The monsters then all launched themselves at you, colliding with each other in the process. You then saw the creatures started eating each other while trying to take a bite out of you. You tried to run, but bit by bit, you started getting eaten by monsters who themselves were half eaten to death. The abominations kept eating you until not even bones were left, but somehow you never lost consciousness. Even with no body, you were still you. But then you fell asleep. And once you woke up, the first thing you realized is that you had a body once again. The second thing you realized was how incredibly hungry you were. Eventually, you found yourself surrounded by monsters once again. You were gonna get eaten once again. And just like that, it happened again. Except there was a slight difference this time. This time, you also took bites of the monsters. The next morning, you felt bigger and more powerful. You were also incredibly hungry once again. This time, you decided not to be prey, but to be a hunter. End five. Oh my goodness, we became a monster! At this point, I'm just hunting for endings, and apparently if you hit this floor three times, maybe I'll hit it a bunch. Oh, so you wanna go to floor 444? I do. That's fine by me. How would anyone ever know that? Oh dear, what's in here? There you go, room 444. Oh. Hello. 
Are you my soulmate? Uh, I would hope not. I would certainly hope not. You lived happily ever after with the creepy girl. <gasps> a good ending? Stop. I did not expect a good ending. I mean, she's the girl from the ring, but hey, at least she treats me well. The one ending that I can't seem to get is the one where you get off in like vanilla, like movie hell. Like that's the one that I want. But apparently you have to be bad, but not so bad that she forces you off. So I'm gonna try my best to be bad. I'm gonna ask, are we there yet? Maybe twice? Maybe four is the one that triggers it. I'm gonna try three to, I'm gonna try to just really make her mad. Hopefully this doesn't, okay. I'm gonna pick dot 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 next time. Please don't force me off. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. So I can only do it twice. Okay, I've asked, are we there yet? Twice, she's annoyed, but not too annoyed. And now I'm going to shut my big yap and move on. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm the hare because I feel like that's worse than the tortoise. Okay, so this time I'm gonna hit the slots but not too much. I'm gonna stop using the slots when she starts talking. If I keep using the slots past when she says I can't win, that's how I get stuck in the next floor. Okay, now we're gonna stop. She's saying now we can never win. We're leaving. Please don't qualify for this. Okay, perfect. She doesn't think I'd be a good fit for that floor. I wanna know what's on floor 69. Ugh. Okay, this time we're gonna pick the meat. All of them though? Yeah, we're gonna pick all of them. And the banana split, and then what's the thing that qualified me for the kitchen? I think eating the kitten did. I do or I don't have pets? I don't. Do? Don't. Da! I'm gonna say I do have pets. Starving old man and a cute puppy. I'd eat the apple. This time I'm saying yes, I'd give up my tongue to leave this elevator, please. Do not force me off this elevator. I will kill okay. you. <gasps> yes! Okay, wait, please, I, I, Everything I've done is so bad. Okay, yes, tell me, yes, I deserve to go deeper, yes. It seems like there's like no rhyme or reason to this, like you just have to test it out. Okay, so I'm gonna say no to this guy and wait it out. I'm staying in the elevator. <gasps> please. Okay, she's gonna turn into a demon? Please, please give me this ending, please. <gasps> what do you think? <gasps> that you really do belong here! I did it! Congratulations, you are now a VIP of Hell Incorporated! Eternal damnation awaits you. Now get off my elevator, please, and thanks. That was such a balancing act. I really think it all came down to like being really, really bad, but then saying that you would give your tongue to get off this, that you would make one sacrifice to get off the elevator maybe? You left the elevator and entered hell. Your skin started to burn immediately. You were in a constant state of suffocation while being unable to breathe whatsoever. The resident demons would throw molten rocks at you on sight. On rare occasions where you encountered another damned soul, they'd be as terrible a person as you'd expect from someone in that lair. So you started avoiding them. Despite the solitude and the physical torture, what pained you the most was remembering in your past? Did your family mourn you? Did you have any real friends? If you are such a terrible person to deserve this fate, they must have been relieved to see you go. Did your life have any meaning? Was it worth it being lived? You continued thinking about the things that you could have done differently. Advice you ignored, help you rejected, opportunities you missed. You'd become numb to the pain, but your regrets will last forever. Ending seven. I think that was the last ending. Well guys, that was the elevator. I really wanted to play it because I'm addicted to games where you find different endings and this one just fit that bill perfectly. I think I saw Jay play it and I was like, this is exactly up my alley. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.